Hi everyone. Welcome to Glow's Kindred Kitchen and I'm Glow. Well, today I wanted to share a recipe with you. Uh, it, it's the perfect time of year to be cooking with cherries or any kind of fresh fruit. But cherries right now are just, in this area, are just wonderful. See these beautiful cherries? <clears throat> so I decided today that we will make what I call a cherry surprise. And um, it's very simple. You can use canned cherries if you'd like, but I'm using fresh cherries today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pit your cherries. And I went ahead and I pitted these, and then I cut them in half. These are Bing cherries, or dark red sweet cherry. They're no, good, too. Oh, they're delicious this year. So I went ahead and I took care of that. I did warm them up a little bit on the stove because um, canned cherries are actually cooked. So these are you know just barely you know starting to cook but it'll help the cooking process in the oven so um the original recipe it said to um, add a third of a cup of sugar but they were calling for tart cherries so i'm only going to add two tablespoons because these are fairly sweet because you don't want an icky dessert but um anyway let's go ahead and get started and we'll go over the ingredients the first thing is, for the first step, is we need to put a crumb crust into the bottom of this uh, baking pan. It's a square one, eight by eight. And it says to use one cup of all-purpose flour, which I have here, and a quarter of a cup of baking, or, or not baking, I'm sorry, um, confectionery sugar, or powdered sugar. And then I'm just gonna kinda stir that up here. And then we're gonna add butter to it. A half of a cup or a stick. And this is softened butter. You could use cold butter too, but this will just go a little quicker for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this, and this, uh, you want it to have it look like peas. So I'll be back in just a moment, but you blend it with your fork. I'll be back in a moment. So I went ahead and I blended everything together here for the crumb crust. But before we continue, I wanted to share where I received this recipe from that I'm using as a guide. It's from Maggie's Valley Recipes. Um, and that's here in North Carolina, Western North Carolina. And the one I'm making today is called Cherry Surprise, and it's by Betty Schaubinger. Yeah, Schaubinger. 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 Okay. So anyway, everything I've made out of this little cookbook so far has been delicious. Whether I use it as a guide or go step by step in it, it's just a jewel of a cookbook. Where did you get that cookbook? Um, I actually received that from a friend of mine, um, Kay, and it's her mother, Susie's cookbook. And um, Susie has uh, moved into an assisted living, and she didn't need these cookbooks anymore, and they gifted them to me. And I can't be more thankful. Um, they are just a jewel. So anyway, thank you, Susie and Kay. You've got a bunch of them. I do. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this crumb mixture into this dish and I did not have to grease it first because there's plenty of butter in this. I have the oven preheating to 375 degrees. There. And now all we have to do is press this mixture down in here and up the sides about an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that, and I'll be back when I once I get it completely pressed in, and we'll put it in the oven. Well, I've got the crust in the oven, and it's baking for 10 minutes. I did lower my temperature, though, to 350 degrees for this recipe, simply because I'm using a glass dish. If you were using a metal um, dish, then by all means, keep it at the 375. So... And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add two tablespoons of this um, sugar to these cherries. Now, if you were using the tart cherries like the recipe calls for, do a third of a cup into the drained um, cherries if you're using a um, can of cherries. But these are the fresh cherries. 
There we go. So I'm going to set that to the side. So the next step we're going to do here is we're going to add everything that's going to go for like the batter. So I've got one cup of granulated sugar. I have a quarter of a cup of all-purpose flour. A half of a teaspoon of baking powder. And a half of a teaspoon of salt. Superb. So then the next thing you want to do is you take two eggs that are at room temperature, which already had cracked, and you beat these up. And you want to beat them up real well. See how it's all blended in nicely together? Very nice, Miss Glow. So the next thing I want to do is I just want to stir these ingredients here together well. With your Dutch or Danish whisk. Yep. Now I'm going to pour my egg mix, or eggs in there that I beat it up. I'm just going to stir that together. See how easy this is to put together? Very easy, Miss Glow. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to add in a half of a teaspoon of almond flavoring, pure almond flavoring. And the cherries. That bottle's almost completely gone there. Be careful, Miss Glow. So I'm just going to pour these cherries in. Oh, it smells so good. You can really smell the almond flavoring with this. See how much we have about five minutes left on our crust so I'll be back in just a few minutes and then we're going to go on to the next step hi well I just took the crumb uh, crust out of the oven I baked it actually for 12 minutes instead of 10 reason I did that is I really could not smell that butter coming through and that's one of the indicators for me when I'm you know par baking a uh, crust like this if I don't smell the butter yet I know it needs to go a little bit longer, but I can definitely smell it now. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pour this cherry mixture in here. And we're going to be putting it back in the oven, and it's going to bake for 50 minutes, 5-0. But I can sure smell those cherries and that almond and that crust with the butter in it. This is going to be delicious. I love this time of year with all the fresh produce. So, anyway, doesn't that look beautiful already? Looking good. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. And again, I have it at 350 because of a glass dish. And it will be in there for about 50 minutes. We'll see you back. Well, hello, here is the cherry surprise that just came out of the oven. Surprise. <laughs> yeah, surprise is right. So let's take a look at this. Um, let me find my little skewer here. Here it is. So let's test it and make sure it's okay before we turn the oven off. Yep, it came out clean. Perfect. So it says that we need to let this cool now and then we'll serve it. We can serve it with either whipped cream or vanilla ice cream or chocolate ice cream or would both. be good too. Or, both. or all three of them. So anyway, we'll be back after this cools. Well, we're at the end of the cherry surprise video and I'm going to do a taste test for you. And it smells great and really looks great. So let me take a bite of this and see what we think. See what I think. Man, it's really good. The crust is flaky and buttery. The cherries are Bing cherries from a local store. 
and they are good they're in season they're really good and you can put whipping cream on this or ice cream either one but it's very good try it out and i think you'll really enjoy it thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video bye bye